So till now we have learned a lot about ESP now like sending and receiving data between one to one devices from one to many devices and we even learned how to send data from ESP now protocol to cloud server using an ESP now to cloud server gateway. So we learned a lot about ESP now and now in this video I'm making one project using ESP now for by studio specifically and that project is called as ESP now keychain. So what's this project about how to use it and how to make it everything you'll be learning in this video. So let's get started. So first before learning how to make it, let's first understand why we develop an ESP now based keychain. Well, here in our studio, like outside the studio, we have big tech SMS branded board and the switch of the board is at the terrace and we need to go to the terrace whenever we to turn on and off that board. And uh, we wanted to make it remote to make our uh, efforts way more or less like we can go to the terrace to turn it off and on and off or we can even, you know, pull some wires from the terrace and make a switch here inside the office part. But no, nah, we didn't do that. <laughs> we rather try to make a wireless keychain. And uh, for that, we are thinking of which protocol to use. Of course, we can use the IoT device, like we can use the Blink platform, we can use the Ubidots platform, but we wanted to make it a router free device and also the device that can run on battery for uh, and last longer and longer for a couple of months. And as we learned a lot about ESP now, we thought to try our hands on with the ESP now and make a keychain out of ESP now protocol only. So here in this keychain, what it consists of, it consists of three buttons. Okay, out of that, the middle one is the reset button and these two are the GPIO pins and here we have used the ESP01 board because as we want only two button one for on and one for off uh, we, we went for the ESP01 chip only the smallest and cheapest chip or board from the expressive system okay and it runs on a battery okay so what it does is as soon as we press the on button it will uh, you know send the JSON formatted data as uh, uh, what you can say it will it is uh, uh, sent in this particular manner okay this is for on and when you press the off button this data will be sent okay this is for off okay so both the task is assigned to this particular thing and we already learned how we can send the ESP now data in JSON format in our previous video so do watch it out the link is in the description okay so uh, what's the catch of the reset button here see basically as we wanted to make it last for longer and longer we uh, program it for the deep sleep mode and to wake up our device from the deep sleep mode we need to add a reset button so how we can turn on off the uh, light or turn on off of the techie SMS board using this particular thing for First of all, this techie SMS board is controlled with a relay uh, which is connected to uh, ESP devices running on the ESP now protocol. Okay, so this thing is clear. It is waiting for the data to be received and this is our transmitter. This is our sender. So first we need to press the reset button to wake up this device. And after that, if you press the on button, so data one will be sent, which is received by this device and it will turn on the techie SMS board. Similarly, if you want to turn off our board, you just need to press the reset button. After that, just press the off button. This data will be sent, it will receive by this ESP now devices and it will turn off the board. So that's the simplest uh, ESP now based project that we are going to make in this video and this will last longer and longer. I haven't tested it yet. I just made it right now. I'll soon be testing it. Uh, it's battery life. So stay updated with that techie, uh, Instagram handle to know how's the battery life of it. So to make this project, we'll be requiring the ESP01 device, of course, couple of GP, uh, push buttons that pull up resistors and a battery. And what we did is as we wanted to make it smaller and smaller. We uh, went for the SMT components and we even tried the GLC PCB SMT assembly service. Yes, we designed our PCB on EZEDA and selected the GLC PCB uh, assembly service component so that we can get the component shouldered on it. After that, we placed the order to GLC PCB and we even uploaded the pick and place file and the BOM file which is required to place an order for the SMT assembly service. And after that, uh, we selected the fastest delivery option to get it delivered within seven days. And yes, after seven days, we delivered, uh, we got our PCBs from the LC PCB, which was packed really nice in a bubble wrap sheet. And uh, here is that PCB, small, neat, and uh, all the assembly components are already shouldered on it. So after getting it, we shouldered the rest of the components and our final PCB looks like this. Neat, handy, very clean. So yeah, that was the harder part of the ESP now keychain. So the ESP chip which we shouldered here was already programmed according to this logic of sending the JSON data using ESP now protocol. Okay, so now uh, everything is done, like the coding part is done, which is like you can download the code used in this project 
from the link mentioned in the description you can go download it and upload it into esp01 no need of code explanation because this esp json code is already explained in previous video okay so now let us take on to uh, let, let us move on to the practical side of the project so here our, our board is connected with the relay and esp board so the board is perfect uh, board is already connected like the receiver is all set and now let us try to control this board with the help of a small little esp now keychain also, we made this receiver circuit based on ESP01 chipset only, but we made in such a way that here it will take the 220 volt AC as an input, and here we'll be getting directly 220 volt AC output. We also use these power supply to convert 220 volt to 5 volt, and also a uh, AMS triple one seven to convert 5 volt to 3.3 volt. So we'll be attaching this circuit to our switchboard, and this will accept that ESP now based signal. So let me show you how to attach that, and let's see the working of a project. So here first of all I'll cut down the wires coming from the AC supply to directly this board constant on the Disclaimer please turn off your mains before cutting any live wires and after cutting the live wires also use the testers <laughs> don't try the stunts that we have tried hum log stunts experts ki dekh rakh mein karte and the input side I'll be connecting to the input part of the circuit and uh, the board I'll be connecting to the output part of the circuit and that was it about the connection and we are ready to see this project in action so let's wait to get the sun set and we'll be experiencing this ESP now based project when it's dark in the sky Okay, so it's pretty much dark here right now and it's a perfect time to test our project. So here is the kitchen and I attached the battery on it with a double sided tape and it's powered on completely fine. And that is our studio board which is turned on right now. And the distance between the board and this kitchen is around 100 feet which comes around 30 meters. So let's just see if we are able to turn on and off this switchboard from this device or not. Let's just test it out. So that was all about our ESP Now Kitchen and it's perfectly working as per our application. So we are easily able to turn on and off our main you know, uh, switchboard or the holding board with the help of this kitchen inside our uh, from our studio premises as well so yeah it's a perfect application for our need and you let me know do you find this project interesting useful do share your thoughts regarding this tiny little cute project down in the comments of the video and yeah all the necessary links regarding this project like the code and the pcb design will be down in the description of this video so you can do check it out also subscribe our channel if you want to see more such amazing projects coming up on future on our youtube channel so stay tuned and yeah that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next explore learn share with me techie sms